I feel strange, like, like I'm slowly becoming a maniac. <coughs> Me too, Bex. I, ugh, I, I think, I think we're all turning into uh, maniacs. <laughs> Umbrella-holics. We are the Umbrella Holics. I am your host for the day, Steffi Maniac, and I'm here with Beck Maniac and Jay Maniac. Today we have a special guest, our uncle's brother's son, our fourth cousin removed, Ricky Maniac. Welcome, Ricky. <laughs> Welcome. Hi. Welcome. <laughs> Welcome. It's good to be here. I wanted Ricky. to go for like an ASMR intro. <laughs> That's pretty cool. <laughs> Thank you. Well, thanks for having me, guys. Glad that you could be here with us. For sure. In today's episode, we will be losing our religion. Holy shit. Oh, Holy boy. crap. And guess what? In this episode, all the fucking cunt bastard motherfucking bastard fuck face things we're going to say is going to be bleeped fucking bastard out. <laughs> like Morris fucking code. Yep. <laughs> We just said in Morse code to raise your glass and have a drink with us. Yes. Mm. Three, two, one. Nastrovia. Slunge. I fucking spilled it all over me. Ugh. Ugh. It's been one of those days, boys. Ugh. One of those days. I, I do that all the time. I put it in my mouth. It's It leaks out and then over my chin and then drips on my chest. Wow. Do you know what pisses me <laughs> off about shit like that? If we were in the desert and we needed, to, like, if if we poured out two drops on, like, your pants or something, it would evaporate. But when you spill two drops at home, it's your whole fucking leg. You know? <laughs> your life is ruined. Yeah. <laughs> Drink of the day. Wine. Ah, yes, wine. The most ancient of liquids. Fruity, sweet, or dry. Whether stomp barefoot in a barrel like Lucy, or cured with a heavy spiraled steel roller, it always does the trick. Pairs well with food and used in many religions across the globe. Doesn't matter if you share a sip from the chalice with the whole church, or if you steal a sip from your church's sacristy, wine is fine. Cheers, fellas. Cheers! Cheers. Chin, chin. <laughs> It drips on your chin, chin. <laughs> I know. It actually did. Mine gets caught in the hairs of my chinny, chin, chin. <laughs> so let's talk religion. What do you consider? Umbrellaholics, what do you want? Uh, yes. Hi, sir. Excuse me? I'm not a sir. Oh, I'm sorry. Are you a they or a them? Uh, what do you want? Well, I'm calling about your auto warranty. Did you know that for only fourteen ninety nine a month, you could... So, is uh, everyone here baptized? Yes, ma'am. Yes. I am. I am too, but I'm not part of the Catholic crew like you guys. You're going to hell. I'm surrounded by the ca the Catholics. <laughs> 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 We're everywhere. I was baptized in a little religion called LDS. You ever heard of it? Yeah, no. they uh, like to uh, have multiple wives and... Oh, polygamy runs rampant. <laughs> Yeah. It's sure. okay. Our church, they like to just keep everything secret. <laughs> Founded by Joseph Smith himself. <laughs> the Joseph Smith? The Joseph Smith. <laughs> Wait, I, I thought it was founded by Johnny Jacob Jingleheimer Smith. Oh, his name is. is my name too. <laughs> uh, yeah, I'm baptized Hari Mormon. Like Hari Krishna? No, just Mormon. Hari Mormon. It's my own hybrid thing, kind of like our maintenance man snaker. <laughs> I throw flower petals and dance around. Oh, no. Mormons, we're not allowed to dance. Never mind. I don't know if you know this, but Mormons can't like dance. Like Footloose. Yeah, I can't. <laughs> yeah, it's just like Footloose. Uh, you can't date before like 17 or something crazy like that. No sex before marriage. But I think you guys have that one, too. Uh, yeah, we do. We like to break all the rules after you've done all your sacraments. <laughs> oh, okay. <laughs> okay. It's just a constant rum springer. Yeah, it's yeah. a constant rum springer. <laughs> no caffeine. No, no, we couldn't even have. Soda. Yeah, we're the inventor of really awesome booze. That's true. We can't even drink as a yeah. Mormon. Yeah, so we got our religion literally makes beer. I know. I, I'm in the wrong room. <laughs> well, I'm not in there anymore. I got kicked out, but I was baptized. And let me tell you, head to toe rayon, white suit, was very itchy and uncomfortable. White socks, got right into that little pool, got dunked down. I do remember 
all of the elders having their hands on my head and I felt like my neck was just going to break. It was so all their hands were so heavy. It was like they didn't give a shit about weight How pressure. How old were you? Yeah. What? I was about like, I don't know, 11, 12 maybe. So your mom oh, let you be a, a child of Satan for that long? Well, I I got to choose my religion, so I got to go church bouncing. Okay. And I got to be honest with you, I think my favorite was temple. When I went to the Jewish church, I was like, this, really? oh, it was fun. It was a blast. The kids were great. Uh, I, I mean, it was more fun than anything, but the born agains freaked me out. The well, don't you love the whole thing about being Jewish is like you're like 13, you go through your bat mitzvah, your bar mitzvah, Isn't that awesome? and you're considered an adult. Wouldn't you feel so proud? Like, I'm an adult yeah. now. And then you get like <laughs> how many days of Hanukkah presents every day? Like Not so just <clears throat> socks and pencils for <laughs> days. See, in, in, in the church me and Steph grew up in, it was, you know, Catholicism, it, it's, it's baptism practically right after birth and it's just you know they they hold you down in some water and they try to drown you and if you're strong enough you survive you're worthy of being a catholic i thought they just took their little fingers and kind of sprinkled it at your face as a baby no nope. oh well that's what they do now because oh, millennials yeah, couldn't of, yeah. handle it oh but that's me and steph were pretty much dunked upside down and left to struggle <laughs> what about you jay were <laughs> we you... were old school yeah. were you dunked upside down too jay I think they did it as a when I was a baby. So you you so, did have to struggle to live. <laughs> <laughs> well, I think they just like the Godfather. They pour some shit on your head, and and there's a, a thousand Italians around, you know, like money flowing it. in certain directions. <laughs> Don Corleone's in the corner. <laughs> yeah. Umbrella holic. Yeah, speaking of money, did anybody in the the Catholic religion get their did your parents steal your first communion money like mine did? I didn't even get money. <laughs> I got a I got a congratulations and a cake. That was about oh, it. Oh wow. I got money. I did we had a big banquet for my first communion and I, collectively I got about $50 from all my relatives and I purposely went to this ice cream parlor in my neighborhood and asked like if they were a bank if i could have all ones because i wanted a fat wad <laughs> to look at and i like literally had this as like yeah. a pet when i was home practically it was like my pet wad of ones wow that i would take out and stroke and then recount it and recount. <laughs> i didn't get jack or shit. i got promised to go to the ninth level of the planet to meet elohim at some point i'm sure <laughs> Poor Elohim. <laughs> <laughs> oh gosh, he's gonna come down and squash us now. Which which uh, pastor promised to be your husband? That's what I want to know. <laughs> oh, there weren't pastors in my church. There were only the elders. Oh, from. elders. Okay, which elder? You know, it was sisters your... and brothers too. That was always creepy. Oh, that's like... creepy too. If they get married later, like, well, you are my sister. You're going you're to my sister brother. Kate's house today. <laughs> And they're all about a hundred years old. <laughs> yeah. It's all right. It's I made odd. it a year. I made it a year and I got ex fucking communicated after I smoked a pack of Marlboros with a farm girl up the street. You cannot get excommunicated out of so the Catholic church anymore. To Catholicism. Yeah, I was just saying. <laughs> it's impossible now. Maybe like hundreds of mm -hmm. years ago, you could do something that would like get you killed. <laughs> But now you yeah. cannot do anything to get yourself excommunicated. It seems you got like excommunicated for acting Catholic. That's amazing. Yeah, I know. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I got excommunicated for smoking a pack of Luckies and drinking a six pack behind the bowling alley. Oh, you were at mass? <laughs> <laughs> no, I'm just kidding. Guys, oh, I'm gosh. starving. Uh, you know, June bug, she borrowed all her freaking cheese. I put in an order to pick up at Punjab Steli. So, oh, I gotta, yeah, I got us some grilled cheese sandwiches and fries coming. Guys. Yes. I'm all for it. All right. Great. All right. Well, I'll be back Sounds in a good. few. All right. See you later. Hi. Hey, I know who you are. Is that after school? Cool. Hey, you're stealing. A <sighs> no more stealing packages. Fucker. My eyes are on you. Hey, oh, fuck yourself. You better watch your tone, boy. You're not too big for me to throw over my lap, you little bitch. You got a heart of glass oh. or a heart of stone. 
Just wait till I get you home. We got no future. Uh, we got no past. This? Here today, we're a bit too last. Oh, yeah. Oh, hey. Oh, hello. Well, thank, oh, well, thank you. Uh, please, please have some flowers. Uh, that's, flowers are great, but it'd be better if you had some uh, Reese's Pieces because I am starving. I haven't slept in two days. Oh, what's... Oh, wow. Like has in his uh, other hand. That's, that's like a family size of good thinking. You could get off your knees, Absolutely. though, now. Oh, nothing but the best for my girl. What? Did, what is that? It, it's it's you. Wow. To you? Are you the one? I just need to go to the kidding aroma. Oh dear oh. lord! You I know didn't, Otis I didn't is sent here sexual. Yes. Uh, can I, I go? To, okay, to the lobby, please, Otis. Sent here. Sent here. Okay, great. Thanks. Absolutely, I love riding with you. Okay. Hmm. I'll just press the button. Hmm. <sighs> Oh, thank you, thank you. <laughs> East End boys, West End girls. So, uh, you doing anything this weekend, Bex? <clears throat> Excuse me, uh, I feel like I'm I, I, Actually, I, I haven't slept in a few days. Uh, I'm, I'm, uh, no, I'm not doing anything this weekend, but maybe sleeping. Maybe sleeping, yeah. We can maybe perhaps sleep together. I mean, you know, not, I, oh, please, oh, oh, just, uh, I mean, no apologies. I mean, you know, we oh, nap well, in the similar I, room. You know, I like, I like warm cats, sunshine. But, I, mean, uh, I have to go and get, I need food. I need food. I'm, I'm, uh, I'm premenstrual. Cramps, oh, you know how it is. You know, Otis you is the uh, same. <laughs> Otis is the same? <laughs> keep, the, keep it, keep it going, man. Hey, man, keep it rolling, okay. dude, right? <laughs> I really need to get to the lobby because I have some grilled wow. cheese I got to get to. Well, we are at the lobby, so <laughs> you can leave. Just a perfect day. Feed animals in the zoo. Oh, my God. <laughs> then later, a movie, too. And then home. Oh, it's such a perfect day. Oh, I'm nice. glad I spent it with you. Hey, Will, what's up? Hey, Bex, where are you off to? Oh, me and the mates are starving. I'm off to pick something up. Really? I'm kind of peckish myself. What you guys all going for? Get this, Will. Poon Job Deli. Grilled cheeses. Fuck off. They took your order? Yeah, you know, we got connections. Hey, did you, uh, did you square up, square up another one? Of course. Be me at the apartment, 1313, 13th floor. I'll give you one. Okay, now we're talking. It's fucking beautiful. Beautiful. She's off getting sandwiches, guys. We could play this game I picked up in the French Foreign Legion. Basically, it's called Funny Money or This or That. So Funny Money, I say a weird, crazy, insane amount of money, but you have to do something weird, crazy, and, and insane to earn it, and it becomes a would you or wouldn't you. This or that, I'm going to give you two crazy scenarios. You got to choose one. You guys want to play? Hell yeah. 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 I'll start off easy. Don't worry. Okay. So, Steph... For three point two million, and this is funny money, by the way. The only thing you can ingest for one month is used holy water and holy wafers. Would you do it? I'm talking the holy water that like has gone through all the masses on Sunday. Oh. You know, everybody's dipped their fingers in it. Crusty old fingers stuff. <laughs> Even though Jesus said man cannot live on bread alone, I would do it. <laughs> I would definitely do Smart it. Smart move. Because it's three point two million and it's a little bit of dirty water and God knows what's in our tap water anyways. So you know what? I think I could deal with that. I'll just I guess drink a little bit of whiskey afterwards to kill the germs and I'll be fine. And I think I can live on wafers and I will definitely lose weight during this. So everything's a plus. Not bad. Okay. Not bad. I respect that. I respect that. She has yet to turn something down, Rick. <laughs> there I well, will she turn is from my down. family. <laughs> <laughs> We're we, desperate. <laughs> we pretty much 
everything from our family traditions to our family cuisine is based on a dare. So <laughs> that, that makes sense to me. So Jason, yes. we're going to play a little this or that. Okay. Would you rather spend a year being an exorcism priest or would you rather live in a church for a year without living? And listen, I've known some exorcism priests in my time. They see some crazy shit and not all of it good. Hmm. What would you rather do? Uh, um, well, okay. I want nothing to do with demons and ah, ah, I want none, nothing to do with that. So I'll live in a church. The acoustics are great. I'll get some speakers and some lights. I'll throw some raves, make some money, and I'll have to deal with the occasional mass. I'll like go walk. Oh, I can't. I can't leave. So uh, just go up in the yeah. choir loft. Yeah, I'll chill. Yeah. yeah, I can smoke cigarettes up there or whatever. Yeah, I'll do the. the I'll live in. Yeah, I'll yeah. Live light in up, the, light up when they do the incense. They'll have no clue. They'll just. Oh, for it's... sure. Steph, we're gonna do it this or that with you. Okay. Would you rather? Be an exorcism priest specifically for clowns and clown-related demons. So you'd have a whole life uh, surrounded by honking noises and clown shoes. Or would you rather live under the Pope's bed in the Vatican? Was there a prize for this one? Just a, it's just a well. You probably get to figure out all the secrets of the Vatican. <laughs> yeah, but That's you got to do one or the other. Or I have to hear the Pope fart in the middle of the night, which would be yeah. really gross. <laughs> It's be, be like the pork part. <laughs> <laughs> or other like noises, a... other type of noises that we would want to know. Like um, what? I don't know. Like, All right, forget about it. We'll, we'll need confession. Let's move on. <laughs> I know we don't need our computer to shut down again. Yeah. Uh, no, I think I would go with the clowns. At least I would have, you know, I'd have more room to be free instead of being stuck underneath the Pope's bed, which is probably quite nice underneath there. I bet you it's made out of gold or something. But true, <laughs> satin sheets. <laughs> Probably the the dust bunnies would would be a little bit d better quality. But I think I would deal with the clowns because I feel like at least I have a little bit of power in my life. You know, just to see the clowns recover from their whatever is going on, their possession would be very yeah. Satisfying. You know, you'd um, laugh. You know, you get a few giggles out of it. Yeah, being squirt and... squirted in the face with flowers. <laughs> <laughs> mm -hmm. and you would and just laugh exactly you would just you would just laugh all the time you know um <laughs> i mean it'd probably get a little ridiculous but hey it it'd be worth it for the funny hey so if i can I'm record kinda... that stuff if i can record <laughs> that stuff it's it would be gold <laughs> and jay we're gonna play a little uh little funny money i need money <laughs> for five million dollars would you spend an entire year speaking everything you have to say in no. the church sing song accent <laughs> so that means job interviews that means the podcast that means everything that means everything. would you talk like this forever and ever yeah. <laughs> it's always forever and ever <laughs> Five million? Boy, I'd have no friends. My chick would dump me. Yeah, I don't. Uh, I mean, I can't buy my own island with five million and just seclude myself. Um, Maybe if it's on Onondaga Lake. Yeah, that's true. And uh, I don't have a sense of smell, so I think that might work for me. I might be able to get something cheap. Uh, no, I'm not going to do that. I mean, smart man. I, I mean, people would listen to this podcast and be like, this dude, for you know, won't stop singing. I shut it off after five minutes. <laughs> no, I wouldn't do it. Uh, that money's so... Oh God, I really would like that. But no, I can't do it. I'm sorry. What would be your limit? Like, how much would I have to give you? <sighs> It'd have to be enough money where I can make a movie and I'm paying for everything so everybody can shut the fuck up and just do what I say. And, you know, it'd have to be like 20 mil or something like that. Okay. Yeah. All right. I respect that. You got standards. Yeah. yeah. You won't just sell out for the money. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> hey guys hey guys i'm here Woo! uh i got us the grilled cheese loot yeah you did and yeah i did but i had to go through a little something something on the elevator with otis man he was kicking it to me hard <laughs> i see mean? the guy with like no neck he kind of looks like chris farley he's something else <laughs> how would you describe him jason one of God's own creatures, really. 
kind of he's like a, a transylvanian slightly humback <laughs> yeah <Humped back. laughs> he's, he looks like he'd be doing the time warp right uh, exactly yeah exactly little riff raffy yes uh yeah. and then well, once i made it through that journey which whew, i don't know if i can go on the elevator again i might be really working out on those stairs from now on uh I saw Will Arnett in the lobby and I invited him up to the apartment. He should be here any minute. Will Arnett. Yeah. The Will Arnett. Well, you guys didn't know we lived in our building? No. I made friends well, I, with him. I saw a dude here and there that kind of looked like him, but it was from afar. But that's the real guy you're talking about. The, the real Will Arnett. I, he was. Yeah, I'm, real, I'm Will Arnett. You know, you're like that. Yeah, that yeah, yeah, yeah. He was in the, in the lobby waiting for the his chicken driver. fingers with club <laughs> sauce guy. Yeah. That guy? The Batman, the Lego Batman guy. <laughs> oh, boy. Yeah, okay. so I invited him up. I said, come on up. I, you know, I offered him a grilled cheese, and hopefully he'll come. All right, Wait, Jay, you, get your you, pants did... on. We got to clean up the apartment. Get your pants right. on. Let me let me take off my Hugh Hefner robe but, but and get dressed. <laughs> but did you get enough sandwiches? Because I'm not sharing. I got a bag of grilled cheese from Punjab's. Don't worry. It's good shit. I, can't, can't you smell it? We could all cut goodness? off a quarter of our sandwich and give them. Oh, like don't worry. I got enough. I always yeah. get extra. Well, he's a magician, oh, isn't he? Can't he just multiply the sandwiches? Who? Well, Arnett. He's a magician? I didn't know he was a magician. You've never seen Arrested Development? Oh, well, okay. <laughs> <laughs> didn't know we could do that in real life. Well, I didn't either. I thought that was acting. <laughs> 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 Guys, do you, do you uh, hear that? I hear like bells tinkling. Yeah, enchanting. Oh, it's the freaking Harry Krishnas again. Do they, do they live here or they just visit and run through our hallways? They're always running up and down the, our floor for some reason. I what? was wondering who kept playing George Harrison music over and over again. My sweet love. <laughs> Why is it only our floor? Oh, you got chips. I'm grabbing them. <laughs> I did. Hold off on those grilled cheeses. I need to stay hot for Will. I don't know why they keep running up and down the floor. Maybe it's because we're on the 13th thing. Maybe they feel the negative energy from Edna and they need to change it. I don't know about Edna. She doesn't live on the 13th, so it must be coming from us. Yeah, but that negative energy penetrates. Gets through all the floors. <laughs> <laughs> Maybe they're here to cleanse us. Pr pretty much. That's probably why their flowers or flower petals are strewn Well, all that's over. why I keep on going on the hallway and I'm like, oh, I bring out the broom and the pan and I'm cleaning up flower petals like all the time. And I didn't really think about that. It's got to be them. It smells great, though. Yeah, they make it smell, smell nice. Yeah. yeah. They're nice kids. They're friendly. They just want world peace. How can you object to that? I don't really fully trust people who wear sandals, though. No, He's, Jesus that. wore except sandals. Except for one guy. I was just going to say, except for one guy. I yeah, kind Jesus. of very much agree about that. <laughs> but I'll tell you what, one of them, one of them is our, one of them is our, our Schlitz dealer. So true. It's kind of hard to get. You can only get it out of the Midwest. Yeah. I, Schlitz? I think yeah. that. Yeah, I think I'm more of an OV guy. I thought that was a Schlitz. I thought that was OV Schlitz. No, no, I just came up <laughs> with that. Think in my an OV head. split. Oh, split. <laughs> <laughs> oh, guess I'll get it. Umbrella Holics, what do you want? Uh, yeah. Hi, is this the Maniacs? Could be. Who's calling? Oi, hey, hi, Bobola. This is Esther. Oh, God. What can I do for you, Esther? Well, I, I was just wondering if you could give me a ride to the synagogue. Mm, maybe. I mean, I don't I'm... mind helping the elderly. What's in it for me? Uh, you're making me schwitz over here. Don't be a mashugana. Uh, What's in it for you? I could, you know, maybe I got you pastrami sandwiches from Cat's Deli. You know, with that mustard. Esther, I think I'm going to marry you. Oh, wonderful. Does that mean you're going to take me to Temple for Shabbos? Well, that depends. Do you got the stuff? Because I'm definitely eating sandwiches on the way. I got the stuff. <sighs> a little nosh. A little nosh. See, they got me eating chips here, and you led me with your stomach. They have they have grilled cheeses here, and... Are they kosher? Probably mm, not. No. Exactly, and that's a very I don't goyim. even know what kind of cheese they are It's a goyim thing, oy vey You want a kosher, nice pastrami mm. Would you throw in some pickles with that? I would, oh, yeah. they I, they throw the pickles in at the deli I mean, you should know this 
you know, I tried getting a hold of Edna because I live in 32 and, and, you know, Roberta too. She lives in 33 or 34. I can't remember. But anyway, I tried getting a hold of them because every Wednesday I play Pinochle with them. But oh, they, yeah, but they were being Yentas, you know, busybody spreading gossip and and yeah. Yeah, Edna uh, well, causes a lot of problems for us. Yeah, Edna does bubkiss for me, okay? It's bubkiss. Well, Esther, I might drive you, but would this drive entail me making multiple stops for you to go to the bathroom and for me to wear a tiny hat on my head? So you're making me feel like a tuckus then? Well, I'm not trying, but I, I'm, 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 a, I'm a bit of a realist here. You know, I know that place. It's pretty far away. We're not going to make a lot of stops, are we? Oh. I want to go deli. I want to go Delhi synagogue. Bing, boom, bang. That's oh. it. And I don't want to wear. I don't want to wear a hat. So now I'm a mashugana, huh? I'm a mashugana. <laughs> well, you're a mashugana that needs a ride. Oi vey, oi vey. All right. Uh, Call an Uber. Well, yeah, can, we could do that. Can you? Could you please? Could you please do that and call me an Uber? I don't know how to work that. It's a, that's a fancy thing. My daughter in Florida knows how to do that, but. She's so busy these days. I, I don't want to call her. Sure. We'll tell the driver to be on the lookout for an angry lady with pastrami sandwiches. <laughs> okay. Uh, oy vey. All right. Well, mazel tov then. Mazel tov. <laughs> Bye. Later. <laughs> Jesus. <laughs> Come in. <laughs> oh, hi, Will. What's going on? Uh, here are the maniacs here ricky steffi and becky maniac hey well hey, you know me hi well hey oh i've heard of you guys i'm sure you've heard of me you have a little bit of a reputation uh, i think i'm missing something right now let me pass them out i have a full bag here there's one for steffi there's one for becca there's one for ricky here you go well uh, i got you a nice grilled cheese from punjab uh, what reputation Thanks. are you talking about what he said we had a reputation I know exactly what he means oh <laughs> well i'm friends with will right will so we're good <laughs> uh mine is a grilled cheeses did did he say grilled cheeses what do you fucking mean i'm pretty sure this is the lord and savior upon my grilled cheese let me see that hold on look give that to me holy crap that it really does look like jesus on there denomine patriot filiate spirit Santi. <laughs> yeah <laughs> Don't we know Spibiscos? Uh, what are we going to do about this, guys? Uh, well, he can't eat it. Yeah, I, it's sacrilegious. I think you should take it, Steph. Uh, all right. I'll figure out something to do with it. Uh, sorry about that, Will. Uh, you can't eat that now. We don't have any more grilled cheese left. What the fuck? By the way, Will, take a gander around our living room. We got uh, Arrested Development VHS tapes, and we wonder if you autograph our collection. Yeah, or maybe my chest. <laughs> all 84 episodes? And both of those gaganzas? <laughs> but I'm sorry, you know, I'm Will Arnett. I like to make people laugh. Hey, you should have some Reese's Pieces. <laughs> I, I freaking love Aubrey Plaza, guys. I know. Oh, that's She's probably my favorite person. So in talented. World. What's David yeah. Cross like in real life? Is he an Oh, you're probably going to go on that Bateman looks awesome. Yes. Oh, he does. It. Bateman's hot. He's been hot since he's been a teen idol. I get it. I get it. Well, no, Bateman is kind of hot. I mean, him and Aubrey Plaza are kind of hot. I'd go bisexual for Aubrey any day. <laughs> Dude, uh, oh. Aaliyah Shawcat, so, so fucking good, man. I can't believe she got the Rome Blaze. Amazing. Oh, I hear yeah. Michael Sarah's a dick. <laughs> is that true? You've heard right. My, you've. You've heard right, my friend, but you haven't heard it here. <laughs> Hold on. <laughs> Let's step out of character. Eric, okay. you, you, you saw Michael Sarah at the fucking deli when I saw you. Waiting right? waiting for you. Yeah, I ran into Michael Sarah. I scared yeah. the fuck out of him too, Did, man. What do you mean? Because <laughs> he's he's a I mean, I don't know if Jace told you I'm like six four built like a Viking. So like <laughs> Michael Sarah is a tiny little guy with like a bobblehead fucking head. And I see him walk past me and he, he looks at me and I'm like fuck. And I didn't recognize him at first, but he looked at me as if I knew him. And I was like, so I bought my wares. I get out of the place. And all of a sudden, I'm like, fuck, that's Michael Sarah. So I come walking up the aisle to right up towards him, man. And he was with his girlfriend at the time. And he just got frightened. And I was just like, no, hey, man, listen, 
I just want to say, yeah, I appreciate everything you did. I love the rest of development, man. At that time, he was only in like maybe one or two things. She could say, he's like, oh, oh, thank thank you, man. I was like, yeah, his girlfriend's laughing. I was like, he thought I was going to hurt him, didn't he? <laughs> <laughs> and I came out and Jay was uh, on the on the f***ing roof. Uh, he was sitting. We went on that rooftop. Yeah. 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 <laughs> I could just imagine his hand disappearing inside yours. Oh, dude, yeah. He's, he is a tiny guy, too. And he was rocking the hoodie and like a scully on and shit. Yeah, and he was just like all head, like a watermelon on top of a fucking. <laughs> <laughs> and I realized what I look like, and I'm like, well, fuck, I can't stop this. It's coming right at him. <laughs> you should say that stuff about him as Will Arnett. That'd be fucking hilarious. <laughs> That would be fucking like the hilarious. first time they met on set. <laughs> yeah, sure, sure. he's a jumpy little kid. Yeah, yeah man. exactly, exactly. All right. I heard Michael Sarah's a dick in real life. Well, all right. Since you guys invited up here, me here for grilled cheese, I'll. I'll level with you a little bit. You did not hear from me at all, okay? I don't want to see this kind of thing. So basically, when I first met the kid, I mean, a kid's a young little guy. He's just basically like a bobblehead on a fucking stick, you know, like a watermelon <laughs> sitting on the edge of a pin, right? And I walk up to him to shake his hand and say, congratulations for getting the show. <laughs> you know, I'm just trying to be the nice guy here, right? And all of a sudden, this fucking kid, he's fucking scared shitless. And I just give him a tap on the shoulder, and I can see all the fucking fucking fat flesh on a move <laughs> and I'm like, yeah, great. I'm stuck with this guy contractually con- sorry contractually obligated for another four more seasons yeah right <laughs> we gotta kill this one off <laughs> let's just Jake. uh yeah get him a pen man so he can autograph I'm fucking like... looking all right come on listen maniacs i've been dropping gold on you the whole time you guys took my grilled cheeses i got a jet i got a tanning appointment but too bad i didn't get one of them sweet punjabi jesus's man so, well listen listen uh I, here will we got some extra grilled cheeses i was just fucking oh, with you. thank god here's one for the road don't burn your nuts off at the tanning salon bye bye, bye. bye. Hey, that's our thing that's our thing <laughs> <laughs> phone again all right hold on umbrella holics what do you want sir i'm calling about your student loan debt uh what about it mister we can take an arm and a leg at this point what are you gonna do about it i am not a mister and i know i'm late on my bills but i only have a couple grand to go sir 10 times that yeah i don't think so i'm doing the best i can you know the world is ending bye Teenage savages go wild in a juvenile jungle of lust and lawlessness. And I believe with all of my heart that it is a contributing factor to our juvenile delinquency of today. I 100% believe it. Why I believe that is because I know how it feels when you sing it. Well, uh, if you talk to the average teenager of today and you ask them what it is about rock and roll music that they like, and they'll, the first thing they'll say is the beat, the beat. Rock and roll has got to go, and go it does. You may not like what I'm going to say, but I'm going to say it anyway because I'm not afraid to speak out. I think that the music in hell for eternally be some of this rock music with all its vulgarities and all of its sexual innuendos. And uh, here they were stripping themselves, the fella running around in a little uh, G-string. It reminds me of the wild man of Gadara in Mark chapter 5 who was possessed of a demon running around in the graveyard. I have some funny stories about church growing up, and I was just wondering if... uh... Any of you guys had something funny to say about that? Mm, yeah. I embarrassed myself quite a bit in church. I would say the worst was the time uh, my parents brought me to this like all night mass when I was like maybe 11 years old. I had eaten so much chili the day before. My stomach was killing me. A lot of beans. A um, lot of beans in that chili. Oh, it was bad and then like most kids by about four o'clock in the morning i needed to lay down and sleep of course in church when you're sleeping in a pew they usually end up dragging you out you know but Mm -hmm. um so i had to kind of covertly lie down my parents they were they were all right with it they understood but i was laying down and my stomach was was killing me and the back end of me was placed up and just the, it made the perfect funnel on the pew where the backrest meets the seat. 
I, it was, it was one of those periods where it was kind of unpredictable. Like, like you'd hear some music and, and then the priest would talk, but then it would go quiet for reflection for a minute. I was like, I really got to wait until I know for sure I got some time to like, let this out. And nobody will hear it. I heard the organ kick up. They were starting to play <laughs> and <laughs> I thought now's my chance. And I'm already laying in this pew in like a pile of clothes because it was like November. So like everybody's jackets were underneath me. Oh, and boy. I, I looked like a little vagabond homeless boy. I'm already like clutching my gut, like in the fetal position with my butt in the perfect firing position. So the organ kicks in. Everybody stands up and the organ just stops in the pre in the the priest didn't say anything. He just, everybody just went quiet. The moment I had trusted myself to let out, it was like, it was like, if you just heard like the, and then, yeah, and nothing else in the church. So everybody's attention is drawn to the loudest fart in church history. And they see this little vagabond 11 year old child surrounded by like dusty, dirty coats. <laughs> in the fetal position laying in laying in a pew in the middle of the night my parents practically disowned me <laughs> that did y'all like turn heads and look like what the <laughs> oh yeah for the for the rest of the mass it was just like uh it was like everybody including this group of girls that were my age they they just looked at me like some poor orphan child it, it was terrible it was embarrassing <laughs> i i love that the organist kind of fucked you up because you're thinking, oh, we got a whole song going. But like you said, it was those four notes that basically just mean stand up now. Yeah. <laughs> Everybody get on your feet. So I was also disobeying. And then on top of it, I mark my disobedience by like stamping my brand into a church pew. And you probably couldn't, you, you couldn't put the br brakes on it at that point because. The br br oh, no. brakes? <laughs> too late. That, yeah, the br br brakes. <laughs> <laughs> I'm gonna make you bleed. I don't know if they weren't in the jungle, they were in the swamp. Oh, yeah. <laughs> I think I think we're all going to have fart stories today. Because What is up with the fart I, stories, guys? I do. I do. But yeah, I'll save mine. <laughs> all right. So mine is basically a similar story, but it was my brother and both of my brothers, my younger brothers, they thought farts were the funniest things on earth. So they tried every opportunity to fart somewhere to embarrass us all the time. And he, Timmy would do this in the supermarket and he wouldn't even fart. He would just yell out loud, mom, why would you fart in front of a group of people just to embarrass her? And she would, <laughs> she would just like, oh my God, how am I supposed to deal with this? So we were at a Saturday evening mass because if anyone doesn't know out there that you don't have to go on Sunday, you can go on Saturday night and it's perfectly <laughs> fine, <laughs> which yeah. is kind of like the Jewish thing. It's like the Sabbath, right? But it's for Catholics, it's like being lazy. I can't wake up in the morning. So the, the church is like, yeah, we'll offer a Saturday night <laughs> one. So <laughs> that's the one we would go to like drive through mass. Pretty much, you know. <laughs> So we were, I was there with my mom, my brothers, and uh, my sister. Brian, it was Brian. And I don't know how old he was, maybe like 10, 11, 12, somewhere in there. And you know how the, the wooden pews, they're nice and shiny and smooth, and everything is quiet in the church. And he farted, and it just like reverberated on the wooden seat. I don't know, magnified a hundred times. Was it a trumpet one, or was it a rumbler? It was, a, it was like both. It was like a trumpet and like, you know. It was a trumbler. Yeah. It was a, a trumbler. trumbler. All right. <laughs> and and everyone was laughing, right? So my mom heard it, though, and she couldn't hold it in. So her trying to hold in her laugh turned out into a loud squeal. So you just heard the loudest fart, like, <laughs> and then this, <laughs> like, she couldn't hold it in. So the mass got in her twice. And it was at the quietest moments, and I was turning beet red. My shoulders are moving up and down because I'm laughing so hard. And just red as a beet, looking at my brother like, I'm going to murder you. <laughs> that was uh, When we got out, we just laughed so hard because we were like, we couldn't believe that that happened. It was so embarrassing. But somehow we made it back there again. And not <laughs> like now, I don't think I'd ever go back. But back then, we just kept going. Like, why do we keep going? Everyone knows. <laughs> 
But I didn't really think about it. I don't know. <laughs> the acoustics, man. The acoustics of a church. <laughs> Jason, you must have it had a, fart a nice story. sound. Jay, you well, must for... have a fart story to match theirs. I do have a fart story to match. But what was that phrase that Steffi came up with? Fart force or something? <laughs> the last day? <laughs> yes. Was it, was it fart force? I don't even know now. Okay. Fart focus. <laughs> Oh, that's right. fart focus. Yes. Yeah, my brothers had fart focus. That was their. Oh, yeah, you got to have fart focus. And apparently in these stories, we didn't. I'll say really quickly, the midnight mass thing. The last time I went to mass was Christmas Eve. I was getting high as fuck with my brother and his friends. And my brother kept saying, we got to go to midnight mass, dude. We have to go. And we're like, OK, as long as we get to stand in the back. So we we just threw on hats and we were wasted. We're standing at the back, and then this dude comes up and is like, let me walk you to a seat. And he puts us in the middle of the fucking church. The thing is, is nobody was sitting in our aisle because it's like they removed the aisle in front of us. So we were, they might as well had a spotlight on us. And... <laughs> And the dude, the dude who brought us over there was looking at us and, and my brother said, we're going to take our hats off. And we took our hats off and our hair looked like Michael Myers hair, right? It, it was just all over the place. And we started dying <laughs> laughing and we got out of there. And it was the last time I went to church. <laughs> kind of sounds but, like an episode of the Trailer Park Boys. Did you see that, the Christmas yeah. episode? <laughs> Pretty damn funny. My fart story. I, I went to Catholic school. Once in a while, they would pull you out of class and go, we're going to go to confession now. And you'd go like, great, that's that's at least an hour, hour and a half, you know. So maybe 50 kids and a couple of teachers and nuns. There are people to the left, like waiting to go into confession. There was like a line to go in confession. No, there wasn't a fucking sound. There wasn't a sound. You can hear every creak and if anybody moved. And I thought it was going to be like a little one, right? I'm like, oh, this is not going to be a big deal. When <laughs> when it happened, it was like if I pulled the trumpet up and went, <laughs> like out of the, the blue. The of or the, the horn of Gabriel. Yeah, I was one of the fucking horsemen of the apocalypse at that moment. <laughs> and uh, it, everybody turned around and looked at me. And then I pointed to the dude next to me. <laughs> <laughs> I was like shaking my head and I look, I look to the line of everybody going into confession and they're all hiding behind the pillars, like dying, laughing. <laughs> oh my God. <laughs> I'll never forget that dude. Yeah. <laughs> Crazy. I had a weird thing that happened where I was, I went to the movies and I, I was just starting to go to mass a lot again. It was like my teens. And for some reason, when I went to go into the aisle, you know, at the movie theater, I genuflected and made the sign of the cross. And then I caught myself doing it. Like it was like, why the hell did I just do that? And then I pretended to pick something up off the floor. So no one would think I was genuflecting in a movie theater making the sign of the cross. So I was like, what the hell is wrong with me? <laughs> well, it's kind of like whenever you hear, may the force be with you, you always want to say, and also with you. Yeah. Right. <laughs> or, and with your spirit. Yep. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> That's the new version, right? Or it's the old version? That yeah. No, no, version. you're right. It's the new version. It's like 20 years old, but it's still new to me and to you because it wasn't the one that was drilled into us when we were kids. Yeah. It's also know? with you was the, it's yeah. the one growing up with, but they changed it. What they change it to? And with your spirit. We have to say that oh. back, which is kind of weird sounding. I, me, I never but... said that. No, that's new. Yeah. This is like since it's like oh, the no. past 20 We're years. writing things. <laughs> They do it all the time. Of they, add, they add. And, 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 I think I'm getting dementia. You said that, and I fucking forgot it within a half a minute. <laughs> <laughs> and I'm paying attention. That's really scary. It is. Don't <laughs> worry. I'm right there with you. <laughs> Steph came in and was like, oh, "It smells like flowers in here." <laughs> I'm like, "Yes, it does." <laughs> it was the Harry Krishnas. <laughs> oh. Umbrella holics forever and ever. So, uh, guys, I, I, uh, while you guys were talking, I, I heard something strange coming from uh, the grilled cheese sandwich the and grilled uh, Jesus. The grilled Fuck Jesus. Out of here. Wait, it's fucking talking. No, listen, you guys, just listen. Just be quiet for a second. Okay. And then just listen. Gather around, boys. The Almighty's about to lay down some learning. Uh, 
Uh, what about us? We're girls. Oh, oh please, beg of my pardon. Ah, uh, my ladies, I swear I meant no harm by it. However, it is precisely in recognizing the error of my ways and trying to make a toll of it is why I came here in the first place as a golden, delicious grilled cheeses. Woo! Now gather around, youngin. I was fixing to tell you one of them there parables for which I'm famous for. A shepherd must even tend to the littlest sheep who strays over yonder, away from the flock, no matter how much time done has passed. For they too must know the bounty of my bosom. Uh, he said grilled Jesus, right? We are looking at a cheese sandwich that's yeah. talking. Yeah. 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 What What does that mean? What does this mean? Enlighten us, sandwich. I do not have to explain myself to you all. But I will this just once because we are trying to learn about some forgiveness. Now, what I'm saying is I came as a delicious golden grilled cheeses because I'm tired of the way them Eucharist be tasting all dry and nasty sometimes. I like to get up in something delicious. Sometimes I appear on a potato chip. Sometimes I'm in a Mounds bar with that coconut. None of that almond joy shit. God don't go down that way. Oh my God, this grilled cheeses really talks. <laughs> Who thought? <laughs> <laughs> but what do you mean about all that shepherd stuff you're talking about dang nabbit i mean what well, would you guys what i'm trying to tell you kids is you got to be more forgiving my children if you do not believe that i am he as you are he as you are me and we are all together do you understand cuckoo cuckoo <laughs> <laughs> Forgive Edna? Is that what you're saying? Now nah, y'all getting it, ain't you? Why do we have to forgive her? I mean, I barely know her, and I know she's going to be stuck in limbo at best, isn't she? Haven't you all been listening to what I've been saying? No matter how much time passed, they can get forgiveness. She can ask for her own forgiveness, but you must give forgiveness to her. But wouldn't you classify Edna as a f face? Oh, Lord, yes, children. When that f face looks up towards the heavens... The damn pillar starts shaking. <laughs> Listen, like what the fuck? You're a grilled fucking cheese sandwich. Yeah. You're lucky we're not eating your ass. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> I came here to be eaten. I am the bread of life. Whoever comes to me will never go hungry, and whoever believes in me should never be thirsty. You all haven't been listening, have you now? Well, well, I agree on that. <laughs> we we <laughs> got our Punjab grilled cheese and Schlitz on ice. Uh, you should get out. <laughs> Don't test me, youngin. Don't you dare test me. I'll give you the switch from outside. All right, I'm sick <laughs> of this. Let's eBay this grilled cheeses to the highest bidder. All right, guys, we're going to get on the computer right now. We're going to get grilled cheeses out here as quick as possible. So we're going to eBay. On our IBM 98. <laughs> <laughs> wow. Okay. Holy shit. Look at the bidding. It's going up really high on Holy this. Holy fuck. Wow. Um, why are all the bids from a small town in Ireland? Yeah, that's kind of weird. But hey, fuck it. We need the money. Ah, <laughs> oh, forgive us, Father, for we have sinned. What else is new? What now? Wait, how many of yours are there? Two or three eaters. There's three of us, right? Yeah, Father. I'm here, King Brian of Nokneshiba. Oh, oh God. Okay, what? All right. Father, we did something dastardly. Something very unforgiving. Yeah, Father. We ate Jesus. We ate the Holy Father. Oh, boy. I have this, I'm just going to go over here and just, you know. Hey, wait. Is that a lager, Father? Do you have extras? Well, what's me last name? Lager. But you're not very Jesus-like with your lager stash. JC wouldn't let it the lager overflow for his flock, now would he? Okay, hold on a second. Are you telling me you'd ate the Redeemer, the Savior, oh, the... Oh, all of it. All of it. Chewy and gooey, Father. Slightly sharp. Grilled and crispy to perfection. Hmm, let me guess. Grilled cheese? Yes, father. Yeah, we got it off eBay directly from uh, Punjab, Delhi. <laughs> <laughs> she just went Indian. <laughs> she went into Punjab, Delhi. <laughs> I wonder if Punjab, Delhi. 
Sorry, father. <laughs> yes, father. Sorry, father. I'm going to have to add a couple of more Hail Marys to that. Uh, I think- oh, relax, father. You're putting yourself in an early grave. Who will we confess to if you psoriasis deliver? You're going to have to say something crazy like 1,000 our fathers uh, and one Hail Mary. Just, just keep it going. Thank, Thank you, father. father. Thank you, father. Uh, between the three of us, it shouldn't be too bad. Especially, we'll just wish that shit. Well, we'll, we'll see you later at Coleman's pub. Only if we go to Screamer's after party. Okay, be ready for a cracking good time then, father. No problem. I'll see you later. Now, f*** off. All right. Uh, we have some little bit of email here. Ooh. It's from... Yeah, it's from Julio Taylor from Amityville, Long Island. Julio, yeah, what's Julio. up, man? What's <laughs> up, dude? I didn't know Amityville was in Long Island. I thought it was in New York. I didn't know Julio's could have Taylor as a last name. <laughs> <laughs> hey, 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 these are our listeners. Let's appreciate the emails. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, he must have a mixed family. Oh, we, we have a big family of maniacs. <laughs> <laughs> he says, love the show. I consider myself a maniac i know a guy who who knows a guy who has a friend and their wife is cheating on them would this friend go to hell if you know he strangled her a little bit or <laughs> you know. he's he put that in the email if he strangled her a little bit holy oh. well this is what? a friend of a friend you know he knows you know I think that term friend of a friend is basically saying it's me. It's me. Uh, I want to murder my wife. <laughs> there's a little, there's a little bit more. He said, okay. or, or if this friend of a friend of a friend hired a team of goons, you know, to straighten her out a tad. I think we just send Edna. Yeah. Yeah. We'll yeah. Just send Edna. Yeah. Edna is your girl, your gal. <laughs> okay. All right. <laughs> I mean, that's some pretty sound advice. What do you got, Rick? Uh, you know, sending goons is one thing, but the sort of kind of strangled a bit. I-, I wouldn't go that far, my friend. What I, what I would probably do is, uh, I'd probably offer it up to the Lord. Yeah. Oh, you know, yeah. Yeah. you know, just, just kind of, and, and what I mean is just, just think about it a little bit. Think about the best course of action and, uh, maybe, uh, you know, just take her for everything that she's got in divorce court. Maybe leave it at that. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> Me and Julio down by the jail yard. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Thank you so much for that email. We love you, you f- faces. Keep it coming. Hold on, hold on a second. Oh, oh boy. Oh, thanks, Mark. Yep. Hey, it's Mark the Mailman. Mark. Oh, so. Boy. Should I open it now? Yeah, you, you should definitely open the package, but make sure it's not ticking. That's right. Mm. Always make sure it's not ticking. Nope. Yep. I learned that lesson after my last ex Okay. <laughs> All nice. right. So. Let's take a look. Oh my gosh, it's a whole <laughs> multicolored menagerie of awesome things. Let's see. I'm taking out something now. Okay. Well, look at that. <laughs> it's a To the Spirit podcast shirt. Oh, wow. That's so I way. love it. Yeah, we're just promoting our podcast real quick. <laughs> <laughs> Check out to the spirit on all the major platforms. Um, <laughs> also, that's uh, pretty we're, awesome. We're Washington. in thirty countries and forty states. <laughs> this is very true. I love it. Thank you guys. Thank you very much. Yeah.
Uh, all right, present number two. Sorry, I have to lean down when I grab it. Okay. Oh, oh, it's a smaller one. Messiah mints. <laughs> Save your breath. <laughs> oh yeah. She could pass those out at mass later. Oh, I could use a messiah mint right about now. <laughs> oh, I love this. Yes, I'm going to be using those. <laughs> All right. What does we it look like? The... What does it look like? It's just on a the... 10, right? With it, it honestly <laughs> kind of looks like a clueless Jesus. Like, I don't know why his breath stinks. <laughs> Do you think Jesus had bad breath at one time in his life? For sure. <laughs> I don't know. I'm afraid to even <laughs> declare for either side. <laughs> We're already going to hell in the express elevator, so it might not really matter. <laughs> oh, now this is cool. Are these glow in the dark rosary beads? Yes, sir. <laughs> oh, wow. only to spook you at night. Charge that them up. Really cool. Charge them I'm up. Gonna hang, I'm going to hang them above my or on my lamp, like next to my bed. We'll take you to a rave, and I'll, you'll be a hit of the rave. <laughs> yeah. That is. Awesome. You can bless everybody with your glowing rosary. Yeah, that's true. I won't have any lollipops, but I'll have the mints. <laughs> yeah, that's Do you right. think it'd be kind of cool, though, to like just hang them over your mirror in the car and then someone walks by and sees glowing rosary beads <laughs> out of your car? <laughs> I got a smoking nun picture. That's going on my fridge. Nice. <laughs> wait, wait, wait. It's really cool. It's a sticker of a nun oh, smoking a cigarette? Even better. Even better. Yeah, I'm going to put this on my uh, my record shelf. I have like a bunch of stickers on there. That's going on there. Is she that she's is smoking awesome. a cigarette, Jay? Yeah, she's got a cigarette in her mouth. Clove clove cigarette, or it's probably a, a unfiltered. I I imagine. Oh, I don't know. <laughs> uh, it looks pure, like pure and unadulterated. Old... <laughs> yeah, it's an old school Winston. <laughs> yes, <laughs> tastes like dirt. <laughs> <laughs> oh boy, a desktop confessional. So like, this is gonna. Oh boy! Send all my confessions to Bill Gates. Yeah, That's well, there's thing. there's some. Really, <laughs> I think there's some detailed instructions. I'm going to give it to you. The quick version. Are you ready? Yep. Go ahead. So, so when you push your finger down on the bench and hold it down, it's going to say something and wait. And then when you release it, it will say something else. So you're making your confession by putting your knees down on the bench or your finger in this manner case. <laughs> and uh, so that's how that one will work. This is. This is actually pretty intricate. They took that pretty seriously. That's, that's <laughs> awesome. I like that. Hit it and let us hear us in the microphone. Okay. Uh, I just, it's all wrapped up. So give me. Unwrap this. that bitch. ASMR. <laughs> I, yes. <laughs> oh, you mean. AS. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry. Oh, here we go. Tell me your sins. Tell me your sins. <laughs> All right, here's what you do. You got to put your finger down and then say your confession quickly and then pull your finger up, hold it down, and then hold. You know what I'm saying? So go ahead. Tell me your sins. I farted real bad. You are forgiven. (laughs) I like that. We need to get, we we all need one of those. We're going to send that one that to, is Pope, amazing. to Pope Francis. Be what like, else you got in that wonderful bag of loveliness? Oh, my gosh. I got a full-on Virgin Mary plush throw blanket. Oh, my <laughs> gosh. This is cool. <laughs> <laughs> That's what you uh, throw on yourself when uh, the shadow people come. That's right. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> they should you guys got to see here. this in person. It's amazing, isn't it? It's like, oh. Oh my gosh. <laughs> this is so cool. Sorry, I'm trying to keep myself near the mic, but if I do, I'm going to like cover the computer with the blanket. Is it perfect for making like a Mexican door wave? It could be. Oh yeah. Like... Are you kidding me? This is this is perfect. <laughs> I'm going to wear it for the rest of the show along with my shirt. <laughs> don't don't forget your rosary. <laughs> Oh, I won't. I got that right here. That's cool. <laughs> Glow in the dark rosary. I I don't know why you guys call it uh, bad presents. These are pretty boss, actually. Sometimes they're boss. Sometimes they're bunk. It's a real lottery these days. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. They've been good lately. They're going to get really gnarly soon. I they think. are. They go up and down. <laughs> I've been eating jalapeno chips, so I'm going to take some of these mints right now. 
jalapeno jalapeno. Those are spicy. (laughs) (laughs) Oh, this is really cool, guys. I I thank you for the presence and what what in the fuck is Oh no. Not again. Not again. It's the tinkling of bells. (laughs) Oh god. A lot of Hey! Stamping feet. We're doing a show. You. One of them have a Brooklyn accent. <laughs> Are they even supposed to talk? I don't even know. Who's letting them in the building? That's what I want to know. The doorman is not supposed to just let them in unless they're mystically like passing <laughs> through the walls. Probably mi- this building is insane if you haven't noticed. Of course, but I mean, I, my cousin Zelbert probably let him in. Oh, yeah. Zelbert. He loves everybody. He does. He's such a nice guy. He's also the reason why my mom's side of the family doesn't talk to my dad's side of the family. Oh, Mm. uh, that's sad. (laughs) (laughs) All right, maniacs. It's drink time. On three. One, two, three. Cheers. Cheers. (coughs) Yikes. Whoa. I don't know if I can't imagine what that tastes like. I've never tried that. Yeah. Was coffee oh man, oh. I I mixed my drink with holy water. It adds such a <laughs> kick. Let me tell you, drink out of that. I don't have diseases, <laughs> or maybe I do. Demon, be gone! Your mother sucks. Cats, fuck you! Demon, be gone! Stick your dick up your ass, you motherfucking pig cunt! <laughs> Demon be gone. Got puke stains? Bad auras? Levitation? Demon be gone. The demon's target is not the possessed. It is us, the observers, and everyone in the house. No matter the demon's tricks or lies, DBG will tear the dick off Satan and squash his motherfucking fiery balls. Garen fucking teed. Demon be gone. Call for a consultation. 1-800-666-1313. First 100 callers get a free 12-ounce bottle of premium holy water. Blessed by the f***ing Pope himself. Demon be gone. Don't f*** around. We gotta do something about Steph. It seems like <laughs> since we traveled with her in the time machine, she, she's, her zombie's been coming out more. <sighs> How much more? She looks all right. Just fucking look at her. <laughs> Let's douse her in holy water. Oh, no, don't, please. Uh, we're out of that. We don't have any more. We, uh, back then we mix it with our slow gin fizzes with Edna, you know. Yeah, you know, yeah. But for, you know, we need a little flavor. A little kick yeah. for the Edna, yeah. yeah. Of course. Man, I wish we called Demon Be Gone. I did, but it was busy. What the hell's going on? Is it like a freaking supermoon in retrograde? I know what to do. What? What? Father Logger will solve this shit. Do him up. <sighs> What's up? I'm nursing a bastard schlitz hangover. Uh, we have major fucking problems. Okay. I'll bring Deacon Eric with me. He won Exorcist Priest of the Year. See you in a bit. Steph, are you doing okay? Are the arm and leg ties too tight? I, I, I'm okay. Uh, <laughs> I, I, really, I, I'm okay. I, I think I just have some bad gas. <laughs> <laughs> but that's my fucking bed. Don't be puking all over my Tempur-Pedic mattress or you're going to be paying the cleaning bill, bitch. Uh, I, I have grilled cheese. Uh, I, I'm a lactose intolerant. I, I leak. Uh, That's your fucking problem. You should have taken your lactate pills. <laughs> the sheets are black. Uh, I, I see no stains. This had no stains only because you puked your demon juice all over it. Can't you control your shit? Uh, I also had a drink of the day. Oh, I had a wine. Oh, uh, many, many chalices uh, at mass. Don't worry about it. We're preparing. Steph, 
we're all going to exercise the zombie once and for all. We either exercise the zombie or you must attend BA, Brains Anonymous. Baby Jesus and Mary and Joseph, please bless you. UH, kind of busy right now. What's going on? What's all that banging? Uh, you know, the bed's levitating, dishes are flying around, the usual maniac shit. Uh, we're trying to exercise the zombie from Steffi once and for all. We need backup. Okay, looking out the window, and I'm seeing the Mormons and the Scientologists gathering at the corner. Maybe they will help. What's going on? Oh, well, they appear to be seeing Elohim and Zenu, and they're being beamed up as we speak. You're on your own. Get Chief Bromden from Poltergeist 2 to help. Chief Bro- Isn't that the chief from One Flew Over the Cuckoo's Nest? Oh, I forgot his name. From Poltergeist 2. Don't worry about it. Well, he's fucking dead. Thanks. I'll see you later. Bye. The one time I come out here and I forget my holy water. Oh, like this is my first exorcist? Damn it! Well, Father, can't you bless your lager? Son of a bitch, Ricky, you are one smart devil! In the name of the Lord, I bless this lager not just to get me drunk, but to get rid of the demons. Fuck you! Repeat after me. The power of Christ compels you. Power of Christ compels you. The power of Christ compels you. The power of Christ. You go one at a time. What could be gone? Oh, my friend. And part in that show, my favorite show. Uh, give me a leading role. Zombie, be gone. Why? Why are you, all of you standing around me? Uh, hand me a Schlitz. What's your problem? Woo! She's back, guys. All right. Thank She's God. Back. All right. Oh. Umbrella Holics, what do you want? Don't like the attitude, but hello. I'm calling to speak with Steffi Maniac. I'm hosting a show. What do you want? I. Hey, listen, guy. You're in fucking trouble. What do you mean I'm in trouble? What the? Who the hell are you? You have a lot of debts. So many debts that I can't even tell you. Wh- what do I owe? Tell me what it is so I can get this over with. You owe fucking so much that I can get you fucking killed. Okay, so listen to me. Killed? What the hell yeah. is it? <laughs> <laughs> well, Chief, you owe back that of 32000 from the party line you called in 1999. Remember that shit? Remember the commercial? Our records indicate that you almost destroyed our network. Now you pay now. Well, I just want to let you know I'm glad that you called. Why? Because I'm going to tell you all about Jesus. Are you ready? St. John's Gospel. Are you ready to hear it? Because I'm not going to let you go until you've converted. Just hang up on her. No, no, you know, go ahead. Go ahead. Do you take Jesus Christ as your Lord and Savior? No. Do you know the stations of the cross? Have you had all the sacraments? Yeah, I don't... (laughs) Do you pray on your knees until they bleed with the rosaries in your hand? I don't want to take this call anymore. I'm fucking... uh, Okay. And you will never call me again. It's over. All right, I, I'm i sorry. We'll never call you again. I want you to see somebody. You're going to go find Father Lager and go to confession. You can't do this anymore to me oh. or anybody else. I, I I like Father Lager. He's a good guy. He he has a, things that, oh, forget it. He's just a good guy. I'm hanging up now. May the Lord be with you. Bye. <laughs> Well, I just want to thank you for listening to the Umbrella Holics, and I want to thank our guest, our cousin, cousins, Ricky, brothers, our sisters, brothers, <laughs> uncles, cousin, uh, friend, cousin. Yeah. I don't know. Uh, fa- he's fucking bastard. Maniac. He's a maniac. <laughs> 
It's Ricky. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> thank you, Ricky. Thanks, guys. Thanks, Rick. Thank you. It was great being here, and thank you for my gifts. Oh, of course. Of course. I think I'm going to have to use that desktop confessional quite a bit after this episode. Oh, oh I'm sure you are. <laughs> I'd like to borrow that, actually. <laughs> <laughs> we take care of our, our family. We take care of our maniacs. If you want to get a hold of us, shoot us an email at umbrellaholics at gmail.com. You can find us on Twitter, Facebook, Instagram. You can find us on all the major platforms. We just got added to Amazon. We're up on iHeart. We're, we're everywhere. Everywhere you want to be. You know nothing. Bye. 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 Bye.